We just wrapped up here at Xfinity Center where the Terps beat the St. Peter's Peacocks 66 to 56. For the Left Bench TV, I'm Danielle Stein with Justin Meyer. The Terps had a strong start but it limped to the finish. Let's see the highlights. Maryland came out hot with 14 unanswered with freshman Kevin Herter and Justin Jackson leading the charge. The Peacocks finally got on the board with 12 minutes remaining in the first. A beautiful flip from Tchaikovsky led the Terps to finish 40 to 18 at the half feeling confident going into the second. There was a change in momentum from here on out. The Terps went just two of 10 from three after halftime after previously going five of eight. The Peacocks were able to connect. An overall sloppy second half for the Terps led the Peacocks to cut their deficit to just 10 in the end with the final score of 66-56 Maryland. We played a great first half, um, really defended, shot the ball well. Um, shared the ball, 10 assists on 13 baskets. And in the second half, we were exact opposite. We weren't very good, we didn't stay focused. So after the game, Coach Turgeon spoke about how the Terps have been struggling to play a full 40 minutes. So we've only had two good first halves all year, uh, and that was one of them. We haven't played a full, complete game yet, and um, that's, that's one thing we need to work on, but we're still a young team. What were the biggest differences between the first and the second half? Well, yesterday, his big message for his team was play harder. And in the first half, his team definitely took that to heart. Uh, five of eight from three, you can tell they were much more focused in the first half than they have been in, in, in other halves and in other games this season. Uh, but that kind of went away in the second half, just two of ten from three in the second half. And, and defensively, you could tell there was a huge difference. I mean, they, they didn't let St. Peter's score until over eight minutes into the game. But in the second half, they were giving up open threes, giving up you know, points in the paint and things like that that they weren't giving up in the first half. And, and you could tell there was an effort and focus lapse in the second half. And talk about Mello, he played very different games between the first and the second. What did we observe from that? Well, in the first half, he was definitely playing more of a facilitator role. He didn't even attempt a shot in the first half. And he only played, I believe, 11, 11 minutes. I think that just says something about Mello, is that he's our leading scorer, he's obviously our leader. And you know, he didn't take a shot in the first half, it shows how unselfish he is, and he's willing to get other guys involved if the shots ultimately aren't there for him. In the second half, after they kind of gave up a little bit of run to the Peacocks, uh, Turgeon had to put him back in, and he had to tell him, I need, you to, I need you to score. I need you to be mellow, as Turgeon says. Now the Terps will continue their homestand on Monday as they take on Jacksonville State, where Mark Turgeon got his head coaching start. For the Left Bench TV, I'm Danielle Stein with Justin Meyer.